New at five, black home ownership rates in Milwaukee County among the worst in the country, due in large part to racist policies like redlining. Sean Gallagher shows us how one local group is stepping up to try and make a difference one neighborhood at a time. One problem house can ruin the reputation of a whole block, but a local pastor is making strides towards reclaiming the neighborhood. It took about two weeks for us to do this garage here. Through his nonprofit Bridge Builders, Pastor Kurt Owens helps alleviate homeowner headaches like busted garages. But his next move is taking out eyesores by buying 20 homes in this neighborhood. What would it look like if we bought the drug houses? What would it look like if we just bought the prostitution houses? Because we're not going anywhere. We're here in the community with the residents. The problem centers around a lack of African-American homeowners. Milwaukee has the second worst African-American home ownership rate in the country, just over one in four. Compared to just five years ago, it's a completely different neighborhood. Caffrey McClinton has lived in this neighborhood for 14 years, but not many on her block own their home. She says this house was just shut down for having drug and prostitution activity. And as a mother of five, she feels her kids aren't safe here. For me personally, I don't feel like I can do it any longer. I don't think that the changes that I need to see are going to happen within a year. With black home ownership so low, it forces many in communities of color to rent. 60% of all Milwaukee residents rent, which brings on another problem. A Marquette Law study shows half of the rental properties in the city are owned by someone who lives outside of Milwaukee, including a house near Pastor Owen's home with a sign from a California rental company. It certainly can be problematic um, if there are landlords who are not really committed to really the advancement of the city as a whole and who are less committed to quality of life for their tenants. Lafayette Crump is the commissioner of city development. He says the city has committed some $6 million to the upcoming budget towards increasing home ownership in the city. Increasing the home ownership rate is, is not a cure-all, but it is one very major step on the way to changing the uh, some of the statistics that we see about the city of Milwaukee. So if Pastor Owens is able to flip these houses, he feels even changing one could make the difference. It only takes one problematic house for gunshots to start ringing. And so, no, I, I think it would do us all the good in the world if we're able to turn this property into a homeowner that can simply be invested in our community as opposed to taken away from it. The money Pastor Owens is raising towards purchasing the 20 homes will be within a few blocks of each other. He says keeping the effort concentrated to a smaller area will pay dividends towards the future of the neighborhood. In Milwaukee, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 